Hey everybody, it's Todd from Mountain 66 Diecast. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, I'm going to show a few cars. Um, I'm probably not going to retire from YouTube. My wife kind of talked me into just still doing some videos. So I maybe do a couple videos a month. Show you still, keep you in the loop as to what I get. Or as I, or as to what I acquire. Uh, so she kind of talked me into it and or talk me out of it and it's the same with a couple friends that really have no affiliation with the die cast collecting industry at all so i thought all right i'll keep her going i guess but i'll do just two or three videos a month so anyway i'm gonna start out with this this old i found this this old uh well it's obviously an aldo an Eldorado, but i found it uh come across this and this is an old kid painted one it's never been drilled apart, but it doesn't look, no, it doesn't look, no. But this has been done, this was done years ago, obviously. I think the kid, whoever the kid was, I think he did all right. I, I'll definitely, I'll definitely put that, see? It's a kid painting, I don't know. He did all right. I'm going to show... This old, I got to come across an old matchbox. This was a Hillman Manx. I was going to get my turntable out, but I'm going to just do this quickly because I got to get ready for work. This old Hillman Manx, little gray wheel. This definitely is from the oh, mid-60s or so. There's no interior. You look in there and you can see right through to the floorboards. But these are, this is where matchbox started. This is one of the ancestors here, so. This is definitely nice to have in my collection. I do have one of these. This one's actually nicer. So this here for me, uh, in, regard, in, re, in terms of this uh, Hillman Minx, I think this is definitely for me a nice little step up. So, already, uh, before we get back into the Hot Wheels, I'm going to show I did wheel swap a couple cars. I wheel swapped the Mon Monty. It's got real riders on it now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go so, but yeah, I you know I'll keep you. Yeah, this way you still keep you in the loop as would would choir and stuff like this. Now I found this this Impala. It's a taxi decked out as a taxi. I found this in the, I don't know the old antique store down here. So uh, she's kind of rough. Got a little bit of a patina. I think it's got a little bit of personality. So I put. The front wheels were bent up, so I put new wheel. I put real riders on it. I had to, well, obviously, I had to, but the patina on it, kind of the rough, the roughness on it, doesn't look bad. Whoop! I'll back that up for a second. So, like the patina, I was gonna repaint it, but I thought, nah, I'm gonna leave it like it is. I kind of, it kind of looks pretty sweet, decked out like this. And the bit, the bit of the bigger tires I put on, kind of raised the back end up a little bit. So I like the stance of this. But I like it just the way it is. So. It is, uh, I can put the bigger wheels in it, but, yeah. so, alrighty, I got two left, I'm gonna do this old Ford Woody, this is an old red line, now I have one already, but it's blue, I believe, it's a different color, or an aqua color, I believe, so, this was, uh, see, you can see the front axles are bent a bit, but, uh, I'm not worried about that. I leave them the way they are. My grandsons or any any small kids or not are not going to be playing with these. I can assure you. So, and uh, uh, that's yeah, that that's all there's to it on that matter. But this is a pretty cool, pretty cool color. This one, she kind of lifts to the left a little bit, but uh, that's not bad at all. She's just going to go up into the shop, uh, up onto the shelf anyway. All right, I'm going to close out with the, this one here. It's absolutely sweet. You got another custom TNT T-Bird. So we've got one there, here. The guy that, where I got this even, hey, give me give me a couple extra decals. Um, uh, like the size of the number one here. Actually, they're pretty much the same. Obviously, they're repros. And... Uh, I think it was number three, number, number three was one, and I think the other one, I have to look, maybe it was number five, but 
I just said to him, no, I, uh, that's all right, man. It's still got the original stickers on it. I ain't taking them off. Definitely got to keep these original. So, got to keep these original. Oh, geez, I forgot. I had a see. No, I'm sorry. I do have one more. I got an M2. I forgot all about that. But this, this, uh, um, T-Bird's still pretty sweet. Like you say, I'm going to leave the original original stickers on it. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put repos on it. Like that to me doesn't I don't know. That just doesn't make sense, but whatever. Alrighty my friends, I'm gonna move this out of here for a sec. I do have one more. I forgot I had an M2. So I'm just getting it out of the box here. Hang on. There we go. So I got this uh 59 Cadillac. This is absolutely sweet. This is the only new car I've gotten in quite a while. Yeah, the doors were open on this one. And I pulled uh, in its packaging, which I do have the packaging here, as you can see, but I'm going to keep that. But this is pretty sweet. The doors do open. I close them. They were slightly ajar. In there, I'm like, oh, man, I hope they might not even close properly. The hood don't open. But the doors do. But I like the yellow rims and that on this. This is absolutely sweet. So. Yeah. But anyway, that's what I've acquired as of lately. I hope you guys enjoy checking these out. Um. You know, again, always thanks for watching. Uh, keep hunting out there and, and uh, take care.